Hello and welcome back to Excel Tip Videos. Today in this tutorial, we will show you how to use the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. VLOOKUP function is one of the most demanded function in Excel. The VLOOKUP function performs a vertical lookup by searching for a value in the first column of a table and returning the value in the same row. V stands for vertical, hence this function is also known as vertical lookup. It returns either the exact match or the closest match possible. If you are a beginner, you may find difficulty to use VLOOKUP initially. However, once you understand and start using it at work, you will consider this as your best buddy. There are many times when such situations comes where you have to compare two or multiple files or you have to update a file from the master database. And this is where VLOOKUP comes into the picture and gives you what you are looking for. We'll learn the syntax and the appropriate usage of the function in the examples that we have taken in this video. In the first example, we have taken the bank name and its URLs in a table and in the same sheet, we will return the value in a cell by looking up the bank name selected in the cell. The range A13 to B23 contains the bank details whereas we have taken the bank name in data validation list in cell A10 and in B10 we want the function to return the URL for the bank selected in A10. So we go to B10 and we enter, we look a function here. As you can see that it takes four arguments in order to return the result. The first argument is lookup value. This is the value you want to look up and it is to be searched in the first column of the table or data. The second argument is table array. It is the range of the cells of the lookup table where the first column contains the lookup value. If you are expecting the function to return the closest match, we would advise you to sort the table in ascending order first before using the formula. The third argument is column index number. It is the number of the column which has the value that you want to return from the table. The first column of the table considered as one column index number and in case supplied number in the argument is greater than the number of columns that exist in the table, function returns reference error. The fourth and the last argument is range lookup. It is an optional argument and it requires confirming that what type of match you want the function to return whether you want to return the exact match or closest match. Value 0 that represents false is used to return the exact match whereas one which represents true is used to return the closest match. In case if you omit this argument, an approximate match will be returned. We'll talk and understand about this argument in detail with an example. The first three arguments are required for the function to work whereas last argument is an optional one. Okay. Now we have to pick up the lookup value and as we have mentioned earlier that we have already taken the list of all the banks in cell A10. So we take A10 in the first argument followed by a comma. Then we select A13 to B23 as table array range and as we have to pick the web address which is in second column. So we enter 2 in the third argument and then 0 in the last argument to return an exact match and hit enter. And there you go, function looked up for the bank in the table and returned the corresponding URL in the cell. So now you don't need to go and look manually in the table as the moment to make the changes in the drop down list, the function will return the URL address for that bank only in the cell. You can also supply the lookup value directly to the argument. So instead of A10, we type it here, ICICI bank limited. Function then also will return the required value from the table. Now we move on to the next example where we have the duplicate values in the first column of the table range and we'll see what happens when lookup value is found more than one time in the table array. So we go to B32 and enter VLOOKUP function. As we can see Steve Miller is appearing two times in the first column so we select Steve Miller as the lookup value and then we take the table range and ask function to return the second column with an exact match. The moment we hit enter function returns grade value A whereas Steve Miller has two grades A and A plus. Then how and why it returned A here? That's because 
VLOOKUP always finds and returns the first match value. So if the lookup column contains duplicate value, function will return first value only. All right. In the next example, we'll get the price in column B for the products that are listed in column A. The price of the products are stored in stock detail sheet. So we go here in B51 and type VLOOKUP function and then we take A51 as the lookup value and then we go to stock detail sheet tab and select the table range from A2 to D15 and then we enter 3 as the column index number since we have to pick the price per unit and then 0 to return the exact match and hit enter. We get price per unit in B51 for the product listed in A51 and then we drag the formula to the last active cell. But wait, as soon as we drag the formula to the last active cell of this table, we get few any error as well. Have you also noticed that B51 shows the price of per unit for keyboard product, however, an error occurred in B56 for the same lookup value. So why did that happen? To find out, we click on B56 and there you go. Look at the table range. We took the table range from A2 to D15 However, now it has been moved since it was not fixed. So for B56 lookup value, it is looking up in A7 to D20 range in stock detail sheet tab and in that range, the function did not find the lookup value, hence it returned any error here. This is because of the relative references as it is getting changed every time whenever we copy and paste the function in a new cell. And in such situations, when we need to copy and paste VLOOKUP function, we can use absolute reference to save lots of time and also to return the right value. And here, in this situation, we'll only freeze the table range since we'll be moving down and we need the result for different lookup values. So we'll let the lookup values as a relative reference and then we hit enter. The moment we amend the formula with the updated reference, we get price per unit for all the products in the column successfully. Now we jump on to the next example where we need to find out the grades based on the parameter given in column F and G. We have to categorize the students based on their grades and for these kind of situations nested if is the best solution. But wait, we haven't revealed the secret of VLOOKUP function yet. You can also use VLOOKUP function for these type of situations. So without waiting anymore, we type VLOOKUP function here and then we take B67 as a lookup value. We'll keep it as relative reference since we'll be moving down and then in the second argument, we select the parameter table and make it freeze and then two in the third argument. The fourth argument will play a magic role here to return the grades. Instead of returning the exact match, we'll ask function to return the approximate match. So either we can skip this argument or can input one and hit enter. As soon as we hit enter, the function returns grade B for David D'Souza who has scored 72. And if you look at the parameter table, it is absolutely right. And when we drag the formula to the last active cell, we get grades for all the students in the corresponding cells. But how did it happen? How did the function return the correct grade when the lookup value was not matching with the parameter table? This is because we have asked the function to do an approximate match. So whenever the exact value is not found, it looks for the closest value or below the lookup value. And when it first looked it for the 72, it found that it is greater than the first criteria that is 30. So it moved to the next criteria, then again it found that it is greater than the second criteria value which was 50 and then it again jumped to the next criteria that is 80. And here it realized that the lookup value is less than the third parameter, hence it came back to the last parameter and picked the grade and returned it in the cell. Similarly, it checked for all the students and returned grades accordingly in the cells. Also, if you look at the parameter table range, it is sorted in ascending order, which is why we have got the correct result. However, when the data table is not sorted and we are asking function to return the approximate match, there are high chances that the function return 
स्ट्रॉन्ग वैल्यू और समथिंग दैट इज नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड सो मेक श्योर दैट द टेबल इज सोटेड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू रिटर्न एन अप्रॉक्सीमेट और क्लोजेस्ट मैच ऑल राइट नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल वे विल सी वेन इन वट एर अकर्स वाइल वर्किंग विद विलुक फंक्शन द फर्स्ट एर एन ए इज अ वेरी कॉमन टाइप ऑफ एर इट रिटर्न वेन फंक्शन फेल्स टू फाइंड द लुक ऑफ वैल्यू इन द टेबल एर ए यू हैव सप्लाइड टू द आर्ग्यूमेंट if you are returning an exact match and while returning for an approximate match it arises when the smallest value of the table range is greater than the lookup value supplied in the argument or if the table array is not sorted in ascending order first we go and find out the error with an exact match so we type we look up function here in b97 in the lookup value we type excel tip in double quotes and then we select a82 to c88 as table array then we ask function to return scores which is in second column uh, so we type 2 and then we type 0 in the last argument and hit enter the moment we hit enter it gives us any error that is because if you see carefully the lookup value excel tip does not exist or is not found by the function in the first column of the table array hence it return an error and when we search for a smallest value let's say we search for 20 with an approximate match so we select parameter table range and we ask function to return grade and then one for approximate match then to the function returns any error that is because it did not find anything smaller than the smallest criteria which was 20 in this case hence it return any error and similarly if you look at the previous example where we did not have the sorted table which we supplied in the table array function return any error there are other reasons too when you may receive any error like you might have entered the incorrect syntax or numbers stored as text which are used for lookup value or lookup table or your lookup value or lookup table contains the invisible special characters etc the next error type is reference error This error arises when the supplied column index number is greater than the number of column in the supplied table range or the cell reference of the range taken in the function does not exist any more or because of relative reference errors. So to check that we type we look up function here in B99 and we search it for A82 in A82 to C88 range and then we ask function to return the fourth column with an exact match. the moment we hit enter it returns reference error because we have supplied column index number greater than the number of columns available in this table array range and when you want to look up the value in the table array which later gets deleted so let's say we have some data here and we we look for 25 in this range and then we later delete this range the function then also returns reference error either it could be that the look up value or the table array in both the cases if it is removed or overwritten with another cell function would return reference error only the next error is value error that occurs when the supplied column index number argument is less than 1 or is not recognized as a numeric value and in order to check that we enter we look up function here in b101 and then we take a82 as look up value and we search it in the table array from a82 to c88 and now we ask function to return the value from the zero column and then we enter zero to return an exact match in last argument and hit enter the moment we hit enter we get value error that is because we have asked function to return the value from zeroth column which does not exist in this sheet now we enter the function b102 and once again we look for a82 in a82 to c88 range and this time we tell function to return the second column but instead of supplying boolean value 0 or 1 this time we supply text value in last argument and hit enter and there you go function returns name error because function does not recognize any boolean value in the last argument that represents boolean value hence it return name error and when you accidentally misspell the function's name then also the function return name error 
So if this error appears, that means either you have misspelled the function or have supplied wrong value in last argument of the function. Similarly, there are many places and situations where you can use VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP can also be combined with other functions and can make you awesome at work. The examples we took in this video to give demonstrations were based on the real scenario our users have been at initial stage while working with VLOOKUP. We'll be exploring more basics and advanced features of VLOOKUP function in our coming sessions. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned with us for more awesome Excel tips and tricks. Feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends as well and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Keep learning and have a nice day.